I remember waking up and getting ready for school like it was just any ordinary it day. It is the evilest or most evil uh, thing or religion of all times. I got an email from someone who threatened to rape both my daughter and both my infant daughter and my wife. Pieces of pork, pieces of pork, pieces of meat they were throwing at the school. It got so bad our school had to shut down for a long time. So I don't, I don't buy this peaceful, moderate delineation. You're either a practicing Muslim or you're not. And since then I just associated everything evil, everything no bad with Muslims, with anyone who looked like Muslims, with anyone who wore a turban, had a long beard, or, or even had dark skin. Even in the immediate aftermath of 9-11, you didn't see the, the, the level of anti-Muslim hostility in our society, in the mainstream of the society that you're seeing now. But you can go in front of the camera and say the Quran is a violent document. So violent it should be banned. So violent it should be burned. Muhammad is a pedophile. Islam is a religion of the sword. I think the weird thing for Muslims in America, we're told what our faith is by people who are not from our faith. People don't know people who are Muslims, and I think that really is where a lot of the fear stems from. I'm at the point now where it's people should be educated enough to know that I did nothing wrong, and it's you don't get to just project your hate and your anger at me, especially when I'm a direct reflection of what you are. I am just as upset about the situation as you are. What I like to call Islamic whack-a-mole is still going on. Anytime something Muslim kind of sticks its head up too far, there's going to be somebody there from the Islamophobia industry to whack it back down. We can either look at this as we're all in this together against the extremists, or we can kind of try to divide ourselves out. 